South Korea will soon have a new underground laboratory studying elementary particles, specifically the neutrino, a particle so small it has virtually no mass and no size. They're extremely hard to detect, but they're essential to understanding the nature of the universe and so-called dark matter. The new lab is at Jungsun, Gangwondo Province. It's the sixth biggest underground lab in the world and is set to start operating from next year. Jung Eun-ju has the details. A laboratory has been built 1,000 meters below the surface to research space particles at Emisan Mountain in Jongsan, Gangwondo Province. The laboratory can be reached after riding an elevator down for three minutes and driving through a short tunnel. The lab is 2,600 square meters, excluding the entrance tunnel and connecting road. It's used to study mysterious types of matter. One of them is dark matter, which is estimated by scientists to account for 27% of all cosmic matter, but not much else is known. The other is neutrino, which some scientists say is what dark matter is consisted of. Dark matter and neutrinos are particles so small that appear to not interact with other substances allowing them to reach deep underground and even close to the Earth's core. Scientists hope to observe the two particles at the underground lab, as they are difficult to distinguish and examine above the ground. Photons, neutrons, gamma rays, they can all emit similar signals. We try to eliminate all known signals as much as possible and find the signals that exist theoretically, the ones which we are searching for. Construction for the underground lab began in April 2019 and was completed this year. IBS plans to start research by next year after bringing in all the equipment necessary for observation, including equipment that can detect neutral particles. IBS's underground lab is the world's sixth largest among 18 underground labs that study cosmic particles worldwide. Scientists hope to uncover secrets about dark matter and neutrinos at this new research institute. Chong Eun-ju, Arirang News.